I just have a couple couple quick updates. Um, at our last select board meeting, this board had voted and amended a letter to send to Exeter about the pickpocket dam. That letter was sent. We received an email from Russ Dean in Exeter, um, and we have been working with him to set up a time he'd like to meet in person with Karen and myself. And so we will keep the public updated, but I think it's a good sign that um, Exeter has reached out to us to continue the conversation. So we will let you know next steps when that occurs. That meeting is still being, the date for that is being figured out right now. So um, it, is everyone on this board feeling like for board business before we conclude, um, based on the presentation that we had here tonight, the sort of loose public voting that we did, does everyone on the board feel comfortable with making some decisions about what kind of a letter we would like to send to DOT? Is there anybody on the board that would like to wait or think that we need more information before making a definitive move on that tonight? What we would say in the letter, yeah, because we need to decide what we would say in the letter. I think the public was pretty clear what they were in favor of, which was not the near-term plan, but in fact the intermediate and eventual long-term plan. Um, and so I think it would be worth this board discussing if that's what we're comfortable putting in the letter. And then we did have some advice from Dave Walker of potentially even putting, you know, that we're interested in looking at some potential federal uh, grants in the future to potentially move up the timing of a roundabout. I think there would be no harm in us putting that in the letter that we are aware of and interested in federal monies to help uh, push this forward. Um, so I'm curious to hear any board member thoughts on what they'd like to see in that letter. So I'm, I'm um Certainly in favor of the intermediate uh, option uh, moving forward. I, I don't know that I had enough information at this point I, I, to you know, make a recommendation as a, a roundabout versus a light. And personally, I think a roundabout makes sense, but I'd like to hear more information from the town's people about that before uh, making uh, decision tonight in the letter, but I'm certainly willing to commit to the intermediate uh, solution at this point. Um, I would be similarly, I'd be fine um, strongly recommending the intermediate solution. It would be crazy not to. It's faster and more of a solution than the near term. Um, as far as the longer term roundabout, I think it's far enough off at, with the understanding that if we learn new information that would maybe indicate later that it's not a good idea, we can just say, oh, we didn't have that information. Based on the information we've got so far, that looks like the best um, solution for 10, how many years down the road. So I feel comfortable with that. Um. Yeah, I don't see why we wouldn't do uh, a letter regarding the intermediate stuff. But I would like, I would like us to sp uh, specifically mention how uh, the intermediate step is uh, interestingly labeled uh, as intermediate and not the near term, because the near term would actually be longer term. It's, uh, but uh, uh, it is, a little bit funny, but also at the same time, I just I would like to point that out in the letter specifically that yes, the intermediate Did slash more near, term. more near term than near term plan something along the lines that would. Um, I think it was more that. the way I interpreted it was almost more like the intensiveness of the intervention, uh, like I, I minimal. Agree, you know, but when you're talking about like near term, yeah. it's like. Term the is chro chronological, so like, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, uh, and, and in terms of the um, suggestion of the roundabout, you know, I, uh, I would tend to just follow what the experts would suggest. I mean, we've had Steph Kizza, uh, who's a professional engineer on the planning board, economic development committee, uh, look at 
a significant amount of data um, regarding that intersection and come to the exact same conclusion that we just heard other experts come to. So uh, personally, I would, uh, I'm not going to be a traffic engineer or professional engineer anytime soon, so I'm gonna listen to the experts and I'm ready to support that as well. So my thought on it is um, twofold. The intermediate plan is called intermediate because they really don't have the money. They want to steal money from other projects. I'm cool with that. So we should, in the letter, say that we're in support of, you know, diverting, diverting funds from any projects planned in Brentwood towards this project. Um, and then somehow maybe word in there that we're in support of the intermediate plan and understand that after that's completed, further study may be needed to see if further improvement needs to be done after. Because another study is going to have to be done after they put the turn lanes in to see if it actually helped 70% or if it didn't. And if it helps 70% and it becomes a much safer roadway, then do we really need the roundabout? Can I just can I follow up real quick? Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I appreciated that Councillor Stevens was here and mentioned about how a little bit more than a year ago, you know, she came here and they had a meeting. Um, and, you know, it, it took a year to get this report. Um, but we're talking about funding and, you know, she, she listed a, lot, a long list of things that she had, people that she had spoken to. The Executive Council approves every contract for $10,000 or more in the state of New Hampshire. That's that's what their function is. I did not hear her mention one one sentence about anything related to helping us find funding for it. And that would have been really helpful. If I mean, if you really want to be helpful, let's make it not an intermediate step because we don't have the funding for it. Let's make it a now step. And uh, that's just something I want to point out that funding is a part of this. Thank you for coming to the meeting, but we need to find the funding. I just wanted to reinforce what Andy said, that the way I interpreted Corey's statement was, if we do the intermediate step, we would then evaluate the efficacy. And if we needed to do additional steps, that's when you would go to a roundabout. Not that it would be a sort of done deal if you did step one, that you would automatically go to step two. So that's kind of how I interpret it as well. I don't think there's a downside to us saying in the letter that if more intervention was needed based on future study that we would be amenable to the idea of a roundabout because I do think we've heard from multiple specialists and I was part of the Plan New Hampshire group and there were DOT specialists there that were different people from DOT who also said roundabout is 100% the way to go. So I have heard that from so many um, officials and I feel like there's a little bit of a gut check that's, that we need to do because I think that there is an idea that the stoplight is the solution and it was actually really helpful for me to hear Corey say that the stoplight is green a lot of the time. And when the stoplight is green, it does nothing for you. And to me, that really kind of helped stick for me why a stoplight and a roundabout are just fundamentally different. And I do think that there's a little bit of a vibe in the community that what we need is a stoplight. And I think part of our job um, from an educational perspective for the town maybe to reinforce that experts have told us that just on the data that the stoplight is not necessarily um, what we need for safety. So I just wanted to point that out. And just back on the topic of the stoplight, I travel through the middle road lights every day to go to work. Nothing makes me happier when that person runs the red light for the fourth time in a week, there's a cruiser parked up behind the fire department and they get stopped. Um, every time I cross that intersection, I wait, I look, I make sure people slow down. So a, a light is not 100% guarantee. A, a light is just as good as it is the person approaching either way. Um, so the idea, nobody likes going around a roundabout, especially if you've ever been through the one in Lee. Um, <laughs> but the idea is there that it slows traffic forces a slowdown, it forces people to pay attention. Um, so with that, I make a motion that we send a letter to the New Hampshire DOT supporting the intermediate plan as well as diverting funds in order to fund it somehow this year. And maybe um, 
Also to Councilor Stevens recommending that she try to help the DOT find fundings to make that happen this year. And can we add to that, um, Karen, I'm assuming you would help us draft that letter. Do we want Karen to be the um, signer or do we want that to come back to the board at our next meeting? And he's amending his, his motion so that you can sign it. Uh, we have a motion and a second on the table. Any further discussion about the letter? Sounds like we're all in agreement and in agreement with sort of the majority of the townspeople that were here tonight. Express that we had, I, I just want to make sure that they know that the board approved this. Yes, I think we could certainly, um, we could even post a copy of the letter on to the town website. We can make sure that the townspeople and the stakeholders understand that um, that we were made that decision tonight. Uh, Mr. Canty, before he left tonight, uh, John and I briefly spoke with him, and um, he was certainly, he's one of the big advocates for this and was in favor of us taking action tonight, um, especially based on the, you know, the vibe in the room here tonight. So I think we're all on the same page. Okay. So Karen would be signing that on the board. Correct. Yeah. Are you okay with that, Karen? Yep. Any other discussion or questions? If not, we have a motion and a second on the table. All in favor? Aye. aye. And I'm an aye. So we will move forward with that letter. And uh, this has been a very, very helpful session. And I was, um, thank you for Karen for helping getting this set up tonight and for everyone for being here. Uh, do we have any non-public items for tonight? No, okay. I think we'll, uh, We'll hold that off for a different meeting. So if there's no other board business, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Move. Second. All in favor? Aye. And I'm an aye, so we'll adjourn. 804. Yes. I forget that. I'll have to come for it.